Hi everyone, this is Melissa Waterwall with Red Door Realty, your real estate advisor. Today I am here with Roy Davis with Acclaimed Home Warranty and we're going to talk just a little bit about the home warranty, how you get one and why it's so important. Roy? Well, thanks for letting me uh, yeah, be, here. For here. So you've just moved into your house, you spent a lot of money putting the down payment and all that on the house and then you move in and lo and behold something breaks. So you have a home warranty, you call the home warranty company, you pay the service fee, and we're gonna come out there and repair anything that uh, breaks uh, just due to normal wear and tear. And um, it's, a, it's a great thing to have because it's gonna set, set off those high costs right. of repairs for new homeowners. What is the typical service fee? So, well, it's any, it can range between 60 to $80, That's right. I guess. Okay. Is, that, is that all they pay? Uh, no, sometimes there's going to be things that are not covered and it's important that the homeowner understands that. Um, in, in all home warranty companies, it's laid out in the brochure and it explains what's covered, what's not covered. So it is important that they read that. Um, but most of the time, all the homeowner is going to pay is the uh, service fee. And then there will be some times where, uh, especially with ACs or heaters, well, there, there might be some non coverage um, that they'll have to pay. But I always tell buyers, would you rather pay, you know, three hundred dollars for a non covered, or would you uh, rather pay fifty two hundred dollars right. for a new AC? Exactly. So that's so a kind big of deal. what are kind of the basics that are covered in a home warranty? So with home warranty, uh, this sounds kind of corny, but I always say the peach. It's a good acronym to remember. And that's plumbing, electrical, appliances, air conditioning, um, and heating are typically the things that are covered. There is more stuff, um, but everything within the confines of the house under the roof, if there's things that are outside like uh, electrical outlets or uh, something exposed to the elements, typically those aren't covered. But your condenser and your electrical panel, if they're outside, they are covered. Okay, good to remember. Yeah. Peach, um, and some things that aren't covered, maybe. So, and have. you can add on, well, like pools, whether it's chlorine or saltwater pools, um, hot tubs, extended uh, pipe leak repair, um, which might go out past the 125 feet. Um, those type of things, those, those are add-ons, um, very inexpensive, well, septic, and those types. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Um, what about Freon? We've heard all the buzz about Freon's on its way out. We're not going to be yep. able to get it. So how do you all handle that? So Freon is being phased out. January 1st of 2020, the EPA is phasing out the use of Freon. And it are going to a new product that's been, uh, it's been out there for several years. I myself have um, an air conditioning unit or placed two years ago with Puron. It's also called R410A. Freon was R22. After January 1st, they will no longer be able to use that. So make sure you're using a company that's going to cover those costs to convert your clients from Freon sure. to Puron. It's very important and it's a huge talking point. I part, bet. The ACs are always, a, mm -hmm. always seem to be an issue. Okay. Well, <clears throat> great information. Yeah. Roy, thank you so much. It's very important that you have that home warranty. It's not the same as your home insurance. Your yes. home insurance covers those big structural those acts kinds of god of, acts exactly. of god uh, whether it's rain wind water damage if a pipe leaks upstairs or breaks in your house we're going to come out there and fix that leak but all that damage done by the water that's going to be your homeowner's insurance that's going to cover those costs to clean that up and get it back to uh, the way it was so this is like a good partner with your home mm -hmm. insurance so you really need both it's very beneficial to you save you some money um, when you do purchase a new home, um, typically the seller is going to cover that first year for you. And then after that, you can continue with it if you like. You can change companies, whatever you want to do. But I definitely recommend that you have a home warranty in your hip pocket. So anything else that you think of we didn't cover? If you have questions about a home warranty, our information will be here either above or below the video. So please feel free to reach out anytime and ask questions, whether they're just real estate related questions with, for me or home warranty questions, feel free to call Roy, uh, contact him with email, yep. whatever, and we'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Yeah, and my, my business card is in all of, all of our new brochures. So if your homeowners have the brochure, um, it's there. If they have questions, concerns, have them call me. 
Great. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.